Welcome back to my channel. My name is Raheem. I make lifestyle, entrepreneurship, and technology videos. If you like any of this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and like this video. To keep it short, I like this product. The Oculus Quest 2 coming in at just 503 grams, I feel is the entry level experience for any virtual reality connoisseur. If you are into gaming or if you want to try out something new, my overall experience with it is I'm having a good time. You know, technology is evolving and it's something nice to try. So I wanted a recommendation on a virtual reality headset. I think this is the way to go. Before we jump into the full review, if you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. I really, really, really love that it uses USB-C to charge the headset. My MacBook, my iPad, other miscellaneous devices like speakers and headphones all use USB-C. And the fact that I can use one charger to charge all of that stuff, including my Oculus Quest, is, you know what I'm saying, convenient. Okay, so tip number one, enable the pass-through shortcut. You'll be able to double tap on the headset and it'll immediately show you like this grayed out version of your actual surroundings. It's extremely useful if you're like in the vicinity of other people or you are walking around, you have a table in front of you. You double tap, you can now see your surroundings and it's actually extremely helpful. So go ahead and enable pass through. Tip number two, if you're somebody that is gonna spend an extended amount of time playing a game or streaming or watching a movie, you might wanna get your notifications on your phone. Once you download the Oculus app, go over to your menu, to devices, scroll all the way down to phone notifications, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and continue and pair your headset to your device. Now when you're using your Oculus, when you get phone notifications, they'll come to your Oculus as well. Tip number three, let's jump into the virtual world and I'll show you guys how to switch between different environments. It's not too much, you know, just kind of having floating bubbles around. That's your standard. And then here are a couple of the others that I've downloaded. It's the Winter Ski Lodge. I'll move around a little bit. Let's go over here. If I was, you know, chilling, I can kind of see me chilling with some friends here and talking, you know? The spaceship. Let's move around. Let's go into the middle. Look at that view. Imagine living on this space station. And we have movement on the outside. That's one thing that I really enjoyed about the design of some of these spaces is that things are moving. It feels like an active community. It does feel like an environment that is real. You know? Cyber City. Ryo Khan Retreat. This is a dope city. Here is the dome. I really like this one because of the Aurora lights coming off the window. We got some shooting stars, maybe some UFOs. We got the furnace going. Here are some of the things that I feel like they can really do better. If there's some type of way to completely get rid of the controller, and have it just be a headset, the, your hands and feet and body are tracked in the real world, that would be the next step that would revolutionize this system once again. The controllers, they take AA batteries. That's another step that I'd rather not take. All right, so I'm in this museum right now. It's a 360 museum. This is actually a web-based application. So I didn't have to download anything. I just opened the browser and went to the Hello Web XR Mixed Reality. So we got the xylophone toy here, and we pick this up. Let me give it a... I like how I can just get started playing. I can teleport. 
This is the 360 panorama. By using one photo for each eye, panoramas can have some depth and stereo effect. Whoa. Hiking trail at Lake Belissa. Okay. So it's like I jumped inside of the image. Let's try this one. Reserve. Wow. It's pretty cool. Let's go here. Let's try this. Whoa. What is that? Whoa. Wow. This shit is like a nightmare. Let's take a let's take an actual look at this. Whoa. The detail. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail in this painting. Let's see what's in here. I promise you, this is like something out of a nightmare. Baptismal Angel Neoni. Sculpture by Bertel Theodorvasdel in marble. Church of Our Lady. That is immense detail oh my goodness look at the detail in this it's like i can feel like i can touch it wow graffiti wall get close and spray the wall let's collaborate on a full masterpiece Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Put a little bit of that. Put a little bit of that. And voila. Oh! That is a work of art. The masterpiece. Sorry, sorry I'm late. What? Oh, oh what the heck? Christ, you are ugly. What are you talking about? You're so stupid. You're furry. Just running around putting their butts in my face. Why does that always happen? Like in real life and in VR. I'm playing one of the games though. Uh Total Task Complete. I've never played this before. Yeah, I think we're in different games, Dylan. Did your game start already? I saw, I saw so he did scan. scan. Sure. You Second saw him do scan. You saw him do scan. I was scared. Then yeah. I, I, I knew who it was because I heard somebody I, come out of that room say, "I was sorry." Scared. With a body. It's one of these people because all four of us did scan. Somebody walked out and said, "Oops, sorry," yeah. and then the body got reported. Or somebody called the meeting. I don't know. It's. I think it might be. Hold on. Let me listen to all your voices because I remember the voice. Yeah, but I don't I was know over who. Quickly. Uh, do ba do ba do. I did scan level. Guys, that's cool. Do it's not just. I just. Shadow What's happening? Speak. What's happening? I'm pretty sure it's Shadow. I think it might be Shadow. Okay. Yeah, I think it's Shadow. you or that other guy. It's so. Pretty sure it's Shadow. <laughs> no, I don't know. What's I this? You. Um, oh. Here. 
I that's the call of meeting. I don't even know how to do these tasks, Dylan. I got weapons. Dang, what if I get killed next? Oh no. Struggling yeah. to say sorry is kind of com contemplating everything I was think thinking before. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so this guy tried to kill me once. Anyways. So, um, never mind. Just, 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 just called it, which means oh. told Yay. you. It's Shadow. Oh, we won. I knew it. 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 He shouldn't have walked. You shouldn't have walked out of uh, that area saying, "Whoops, sorry." <laughs> Oops, I didn't gun. kill anybody. That's the weird thing. What I really like about these headsets is how portable they are. Like, I can pick these up, put them in a backpack, put them in a suitcase. They even have a really nice case where you can pack this thing up, throw it in a book bag, and it's not that big. You know what I'm saying? It's really convenient to carry around. And if you're a gamer and you like that virtual experience, it's now easy enough to take that console experience where you have full control over your virtual environment. And if you needed my recommendation on how to enter the virtual world, I think in 2022, the Quest 2 is still, still a great option. Links will be in the description. If you like this type of content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I'm your boy Raheem and tap that like button and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.